Jobs versus the environment, a debate taking center stage today at Sacramento's Convention Center where a Green Summit kicked off today. KCRA3's Kevin Riggs joins us live with details. Kevin. Yeah, well, the governor just left the convention center a few minutes ago. He had been planning to spend most of his time this fall campaigning on behalf of a massive water bond on the November ballot. Instead, it's looking likely that he'll have to be spending some time defending his landmark greenhouse gas bill. Now, the governor, touring this green expo today at the convention center, defended that global warming bill, which he signed back in 2006. Valero, a Texas-based oil company, is helping to bankroll a proposed initiative that would put that measure on hold. Schwarzenegger had sharp words today about... AB32's opponents. I think that the California people are outraged about the fact that the Texas oil companies, Texas oil companies are coming to California and trying to change laws and policies in California. I mean, it's outrageous. And so this is why I think all of us, if it's an environmentalist or ordinary citizens, we all will be out there and defending AB 32, this historic landmark, uh, you know, kind of policy that uh, rolls back our greenhouse gases and protects our environment. So we're going to fight for that. And I think there's some people that just want to come into this state and change the laws. And we're not for that at all. What do you think the motivation is? Though? I think it's just uh, greed. Now, the Jarvis Taxpayers Association is uh, teaming with Valero and GOP lawmakers again to try and qualify this measure for the November ballot. They have until next month to turn in the necessary number of signatures again. If it is approved, it would suspend this measure's clean air rules until the economy and the jobless rate both improve. Live in downtown Sacramento, Kevin Riggs, KCRA 3 reports. All right, Kevin, thank you. Millions of people in Southern California shaken awake this morning. Magnitude 4.4 hit about 10 miles east of downtown.